Many of you know the story of the three little pigs and the big bad wolf, don't you? Right, right, that story is pretty familiar. <clears throat> but I have a different story for you today that's a little bit like that story, but a little bit different. Now there's a part for you in this story, and there's also, I want you to keep your thinking caps on to be able to tell me the ways this story is different from the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. Okay, this story, the title is The Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig. And the author, authors are Eugene Tre Trevisas and Helen Oxenbury. Okay. Now, there we go. Once upon a time, there were three cuddly little wolves with soft fur and fluffy tails who lived with their mother. The first was black, the second was gray, and the third was white. One day, the mother called the three children wolves around her and said, My children, it's time for you to go out into the world. Go and build a house for yourselves, but beware of the big bad pig. Don't worry, mother, we will watch out for him, said the three little wolves, and they set off. Soon they met a kangaroo who was pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow bricks. Please, will you give us some of your bricks? asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the kangaroo, and she gave them lots of red and yellow bricks. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of bricks. Hmm. The very next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of bricks that the three little wolves had built. The three little wolves were playing croquet in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house and locked the door. The pig knocked on the door and grunted, Little wolves, little wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By your hair and our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. Now here's your part, okay, with me. So he huffed, <gasps> and he puffed, <gasps> and he puffed, <gasps> and he huffed. <gasps> but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his sledgehammer and he knocked the house down. The three little wolves only just managed to escape the bricks before the bricks crumbled and they were very frightened indeed. We shall have to build a stronger house, they said. Just then they saw a beaver who was mixing concrete in a concrete mixer. Please, will you give us some of your concrete? Asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the beaver, and he gave them buckets and buckets of slurry, messy concrete. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of concrete. Do you know what concrete is? Cement, right? That's a pretty strong house. No sooner had they finished than the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of concrete that the little wolves had built. They were playing Battledore and Shuttlecock in the garden, and when they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house and shut the door. The pig rang the bell and said, Little frightened wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair and our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. Ready? So he huffed. <gasps> when he puffed. <gasps> when he puffed. <gasps> when he huffed. <gasps> but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his pneumatic drill and he smashed the house down. 
The three little wolves managed to escape, but their chinny chin chins were trembling and trembling and trembling. Trembling is shaking like this because they were so afraid. We shall build an even stronger house, they said, because they were very determined. Just then they saw a truck coming along the road carrying barbed wire, iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. Please, will you give us some of your barbed wire, a few iron bars, some armor plates, and some heavy metal padlocks, they said to the rhinoceros who was driving the truck. Sure, said the rhinoceros, and he gave them plenty of barbed wire, iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. He also gave them some plexiglass and some reinforced steel chains because he was a generous and kind-hearted rhinoceros. So the three little wolves built themselves an extremely strong house. It was the strongest, securest house one could possibly imagine. They felt absolutely safe. The next day, the big bad pig came prowling along the road as usual. The three little wolves were playing hopscotch in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside the house, bolted the door, and locked all 37 padlocks. The pig dialed the video entrance phone and said, Little frightened wolves with the trembling chins, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair in our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. But the house didn't fall down. But. The big wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He brought some dynamite, laid it against the house, and lit the fuse, and boom! The house blew up. The three little wolves just managed to escape with their fluffy tails scorched. It means a little bit burned. That's what scorched means. Something must be wrong with our building materials, they said. We will have to try something different. But what? At that moment, they saw a flamingo coming down, the, coming along, pushing a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Please, will you give us some flowers, asked the wolves. With pleasure, said the flamingo, and he gave them lots of flowers. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of flowers. One wall was marigolds, one of daffodils, one of pink roses, and one of cherry blossoms. The ceiling was made of sunflowers and the floor was a carpet of daisies. They had water lilies in their bathtub and buttercups in their refrigerator. It was a rather fragile house, and it swayed in the wind, but it was rather beautiful. Next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road, and he saw the house of flowers that the three little wolves had built. He rang the bluebell at the door and said, Little fighting wolves, the trembling chins and scorched tails, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair and our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. But as he took a deep breath, ready to huff and puff, he smelled the soft scent of the flowers. It was fantastic. And because the scent was so lovely, the pig took another breath and another. Instead of huffing and puffing, he began to sniff. 
He sniffed deeper and deeper until he was quite filled with the fragrant scent. His heart grew tender, and he realized how horrible he had been. Right then, he decided to become a big, good pig. He started to sing and dance the Tarantella. At first, the three little wolves were a bit worried. It might be a trick. But soon they realized the pig had truly changed. So they came out of the house. They started playing games with him. First they played pig pog and then piggy in the middle. And when they were all tired, they invited him into their house. They offered him tea and strawberries and wolfberries and they asked him to stay with them as long as he wanted. The pig accepted and they all lived happily together ever after. That is a great story and it's not the same as the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. It has some differences, doesn't it? If you want, you can share what you think the differences are with me.